The Special Procedures of the Human Rights Council are independent human rights experts with mandates to monitor, report, and advise on human rights from a thematic or country-specific perspective. In their efforts to promote and protect human rights, mandate holders can act on complaints of alleged human rights violations or abuses by sending communications. Communications are letters sent by the special procedures, either individually or jointly, to governments and also to non-state actors such as business enterprises, military or security companies, and intergovernmental organizations about allegations of human rights violations by governments and or abuses by non-state actors. There are three types of communications, urgent appeals, letters of allegation, other letters. Ongoing or potential human rights violations can be the object of an urgent appeal. In cases where the alleged violations are time sensitive in terms of involving loss of life, life threatening situations, or either imminent or ongoing damage of an extremely grave nature to the victims. Past, ongoing, or potential human rights violations can be the object of a letter of allegation. In cases where the alleged violations do not involve loss of life, life threatening situations, or imminent or ongoing damage of grave nature. Bills, legislation, or policies can be the object of an other letter. In cases of concerns that bills, legislation, policies, or practices do not comply with human rights law and standards. The purpose of communications. Draw the attention of governments and other actors to allegations of human rights violations and abuses. Establish a dialogue with the relevant government authorities and other stakeholders. Ask concerned authorities and stakeholders to investigate and address alleged violations and report on results and actions taken. Give visibility to the case and report to the Human Rights Council on communications sent and replies received. The communication procedure, what it is not. It is not a judicial procedure that can replace a judicial proceeding. It does not establish facts or pass judgment, but draws attention to credible allegations. Special procedures cannot enforce their recommendations. There are three steps in the communications procedure. One, submission of information. Two, sending communications. Three, publication of communications. The submission should contain a factual description of the alleged violations of human rights. The submission should be based on reliable, detailed, and concise information. The communication should not be exclusively based on reports disseminated by mass media. It is not a requirement that the concerned state has ratified an international or regional human rights treaty. The alleged victim has exhausted domestic remedies. Who can submit information? Anyone, including individuals, groups, civil society organizations, or national human rights bodies can submit information to the special procedures mandate holders. Information can be submitted by the direct or indirect victims or any other persons, groups, or organizations who have reliable knowledge about the alleged violations. Those submitting information must provide their contact details. However, that information will remain confidential. Special procedures cannot act on anonymous submissions. Has consent of the victims been obtained? It is extremely important that the alleged victims and or their families or legal representatives indicate in their submissions whether they do or do not consent to the following. Special procedures, mechanisms taking action on the allegations presented. The victim's name is disclosed in a letter that may be sent to the government or others, such as businesses, military, or security companies. The names of victims appearing in a public report to the Human Rights Council. Protection measures may be applied and names may be redacted if requested. Who is the alleged perpetrator? Provide information whenever possible, including where the alleged violation involves non-state actors. If it concerns a business enterprise, please include as much information as possible about the organizational entity, especially contact details and information on headquarters where, what, who, how, and when. Include the date, time, location, and a detailed description of events. Include legislation and policies where relevant. Victims, alleged perpetrators of the violations, circumstances of the alleged violations, 
any actions taken by the victims and or their legal representatives and possible outcomes. Any actions taken by the relevant authorities to remedy the situation and possible outcomes. How to submit information. Information should be sent in English, French, Spanish through the online portal. Sending communications. The information contained in the submissions is analyzed and assessed by the special procedures mandate holders and who can decide to send a joint communication. Publication of communications. Publicly available 60 days after send date. Urgent appeals and letters of allegation. Publicly available in two working days after send date other letters in the online communications database. Three times a year, a report summarizing the communications and any responses received are presented to the Human Rights Council. Communications are available on the Special Procedures Communication Microsite. Feedback after submissions to the Special Procedures. Due to the number of submissions received and the confidential nature of the procedure in the initial phase, it's not possible to provide status updates on submission. Follow-up. When the mandate holders believe the situation so warrants, they may decide to follow up with press releases, meetings with government authorities, meetings with business or other relevant actors, request country visits, and any other follow-up activity they may find useful.